Hello everyone. Welcome to Anirvandi Quotes. Today, we are diving into a transformative journey into the world of data analytics with a tool that's turning the tables on traditional data transformation. And this is Introduction to DBT, the data build tool. So, before we dive into DBT, let's paint a picture of the data landscape. In the ever evolving world of data analytics, data is not just the information. It's a gold mine waiting to be unlocked. But here is the challenge. How do you efficiently and effectively transform this raw data into actionable insights? So if you think your data is just a piece of information until you transform into a gold mine, this is where DBT steps onto the stage, ready to change the way we approach data transformation. So if you see that DBT acts as a funnel here, it takes the data and it just transforms the data into a lot of actionable insights. Uh, first of all, if we are studying about this tool, we need to understand why do we even need data build tool. So if you think about like traditional tra data transformation process often involves complex scripts multiple tools and a fair bit of manual intervention. So what it does is it can lead to inefficiency and errors. This is where DBT shines. DBT or data build tool emerges as a solution to this challenge. So what it does it, it offers a streamlined and efficient approach to transforming your raw data. Here DBT is not just a tool. It's not a, another tool that we are learning. It's a revolution in how we structure, manage, and deploy analytics. Now let's understand why did DBT fits in the data ecosystem. If you see that in the picture, if you see that we have a lots of raw data coming into, we are doing a lot of development and we are we have to do a lot of testing and document. We have to deploy the solution so that we get some uh, actionable data sets that we can use for BI or machine learning or operational uh, analytics. And this, all these things can happen to some data platforms. This could be Snowflake, Redshift, GCP, or Databricks. If you think that DBT is not a database itself, nor it is a full blown ETL or ELT2, it's none of them. What it does it, it focuses specifically on the transformation part of the data pipeline. So your data that you are getting from the door data, you have to do a lot of transformation on top of it so that it can be some value. That's where DBT comes into picture, the T in the ETL or ELT part. So think of DBT as a catalyst that turns your raw data into refined insights with precision and efficiency. DBT is a tool to help you write and execute the transform data transformation jobs that run inside your data warehouse. So do not worry, we'll learn how DBT does that in our upcoming video. We'll see all of them. What are the features of DBT? So if you want to learn this tool, you should know like what are the different features that it provides and it should excite you to learn something new. Let's understand two very important thing about DBT. One is compiler and runner. So DBT has two components. One is com compiler and one is runner. What happens is users write DBT code in their text editor of choice. So you can think about like any software engineer writing some software, writing any Python or Java code. Then it, it invoke DBT from the command line. So DBT has a lot of uh, commands like dbt run, dbt test, dbt compile. What it does is dbt compiles all code into raw SQL and execute that code against the configured data warehouse. So if you see that here we are talking about two different things. One is compiling your code. We'll be talking about what type of code we can write in dbt but just understand that you write your code 
dbt compiles the code into sql and that code runs again the configured data warehouse so dbt is not running anything dbt is just compiling your code and just giving the instruction to any sql warehouse it could be databricks SQL, snowflake or anything so let me show one example for it just just think about like you have some you have written some code like you have written some SQL code here. All you need to do is you need to run a dbt run. What it does is it compiles the whole code and it runs against your data warehouse and you'll get the result from it. So this is one example of dbt compiler and runner. Efficiency and simplicity. So traditional data transformation process involves complex ETL or ELT that can be hard to manage and maintain. DBT simplifies this transformation process with a focus on SQL based transformation. So we write all our transformation jobs in SQL. What it does it is abstract away the complexity, allowing analysts and data engineers to write modular and readable SQL code. We'll see like how uh, DBT uh, helps you to write modular and readable SQL code. Streamline collaboration. Let's see the challenge with it. So collaborating on data transformation can be challenging with traditional methods, especially when multiple teams members are working on the same project. So if you think about like in uh, traditional software engineering, what we do is we use a, a version control system whenever we want to collaboratively work on some project. It introduces a modular and version control approach making it easy for teams to collaborate so what what it does it all the changes are tracked and conflicts are minimized so these are some of the benefits of version control system like git what it does it it enhance the collaboration in the data transformation process modular sql transform this is a very important features of dbt so let's see the challenge of traditional system so writing and maintaining complex SQL transformation can be error prone and time consuming. If you have seen some traditional data or else you, you have seen that there is a lot of lines of code we are writing and lot of a lots of SQL files are there. It's very hard to maintain and it's very time consuming. Like if some error happens, it's very time consuming to identify that error. Here dbt focuses on modular SQL transformation, right? What it allows you to, it allows you to break down your analytics logic into manageable pieces. So this not only it improves code organization, but also enhances reusability and maintainability. I'm not showing you examples for this SQL transformation or modular SQL transformation because we'll be having different videos talking about this in in very much details and this is one feature that i love about dbt and this is a very powerful feature so let's see the challenge what happens is adapting sql queries to dynamic conditions or variables can be challenging with static sql code so what dbt has it dbt incorporates jinja templating a powerful feature that enables dynamic SQL generation. Uh, people who are already doing Python coding, they know Jinja templating in Flask web uh, framework. They we use Jinja templating in very detailed way. So it's a very powerful way to write dynamic generation. What it allows you to create is it allows you to create flexible and adaptive transformation, adjusting to varying conditions and parameters. So if you see the examples here that I'm I'm reading something from a really big table and what I want to do is depending on the schema like suppose I'm running this uh, query on prod I want to use some different wire statement and if it is dev QA or some testing environment I want to use some other wire statement like I want to filter the data in a different way. If you see the power of this Jinja templating, you can use if else statement or if uh, you can think about everything that you can do in Jinja, you can use it here. And this is one of the most fascinating features of dbt. Testing and documentation. Ensuring data quality and providing comprehensive documentation for transformation is essential but often overlooked. What happens is like we write a lot of transformation code 
but we do not maintain a documentation around it like how did we arrive to this master table and how did we find this particular column dbt provides a, a very structural way to do your testing as well as to do your documentation so if you see that dbt places a strong emphasis on testing you can define tests for your transformation ensuring that the output meets your expectation so you can think about like in software engineering we write a lot of unit test cases right how my code should behave the same way you can write a lot of data test like how my data should look like because if your data is not up to your expectation you should not process that particular data this is a very good uh, way of testing your data dbt makes it easy to document your analytics code enhancing the understandability and maintainability of your data transformation so let's see one of the example for this so if you see that this is one of one of the command that dbt has like dbt test so i'll be talking about like how to write the test how to execute it so this is just for the example so if you see that i we have a lot of test around like i i'm take i'm checking if order id should not be null then i'm checking uh, some uh, order id should be unique so this you can think about these are all the tests that you want to run so you can run with dbd test and you can say like how many have run and how many have passed let me show you one more uh, snippet for uh, documentation so if you see this is the html documentation that dbt provides and it's been generated automatically if you see that this is one of the model that it has it has the details it has the description and it has the columns and if you see one more uh, capability that dbt has is to create your lineage graph that also you get it here so if you just think about this are very powerful features and this is coming out of the box you're not spending a lot of time to create documentation i know documentation sometimes engineers get very lazy to create documentation that's why dbt has its inbuilt features for this let's see one of the features or another features of um, dbt like adaptability to modern data warehouse compatibility issues can ar arise when working with different data warehouse this is a very common issues when we work with different warehouse like in-house uh, warehouse or like cloud data warehouse what happens with dbt is dbt is compatible with various modern data warehouses including bigquery snowflake redshift and others right this adaptability ensures that you can leverage dbt regardless of your chosen data infrastructure so you are not stuck with some like cloud specific tool to do your transformation you can use dbt to work with any type of warehouse so this is very powerful feature so let's see some of the other features we have community support and resources so dbt has a growing and active community of users so this means you can access a wealth of resources tutorials and community support as you navigate and implement dbt in your project and now you have my playlist that you can use to do a lot of things in dbt to make your project successful open source nature dbt is a open source providing transparency into its code base this allows users to contribute to its development customize it based on specific needs and benefit from ongoing improvements from the community and uh, let me tell you this is a very uh, like popular uh, open source uh, tool last but not the least is of you that's a wrap for introduction to dbt but hold on i have got some exciting content lineup for you so i hope this tutorial convince you on dbt and it's incredible capabilities but guess what we are just getting started in our next video we are kicking off a dbt journey from scratch covering everything that you need to know to create your first project so if you're excited to level up your data skills hit that subscribe button and let's learn dbt together until then happy coding and see you in the next video